Well, I think the last tour here, uh, a bunch of things have happened. Yes. We had a, a, a tornado in Fayette. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm saying that. And then we had um, a vacation yeah. in Michigan. Up in uh, Traverse City, Sutton Bay yeah. area. Yeah, Sutton Bay was fantastic. There with some of our, our, our two daughters and their families. It was lovely. Yeah. Um, but the tornado thing, yeah. thank the Lord that no mm -hmm. one was hurt. But very sadly, a lot of the lovely trees, yeah. um, especially two gorgeous trees that Reverend and Mrs. Hapcliffe have uh, planted when they were here for their tenure. They have to pastor. come back and plant two more. Yes. I don't know if you guys listen to this. Uh, Reverend and Mrs. Hapcliffe, yeah. but if you are listening, you need to come back and plant two more trees. Yeah. But yeah, trees down the street were all ruined, but thank the Lord, no person was right, hurt. Right, right. But it was quite the thing, wasn't it? You it saw was. it. Yeah, you I saw, saw it. The movement of mm -hmm. it and everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. shouldn't have, hate to admit I was outdoors for a bit of it. and. Uh, wow. But I did run inside when I realized what was happening. Right, well, that was good. <laughs> Um, so thank the Lord that, as I said, no one was hurt, but yeah. yes, it was quite the happening thing. Yeah. And going up to uh, Michigan is always lovely this time of year. Yeah. It's beautiful. We took yeah. the girls into to the lakes, and mm -hmm. some of those waves were pretty yeah. high. Yeah, we went to Empire Beach yeah. one day. That's out near uh, the sand dunes, mm -hmm. so that was really great. And nice big waves, and they were doing a lot of squealing. The and two then, granddaughters, it was so cute. Yeah, and then we, we took them to Sutton Bay, they went swimming there. And then there was one other place we went, we went to another beach. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember the name of that one. Oh gosh, where was it? It was up near Grand Haven, mm -hmm. I, I believe. Mm -hmm. So that was... Lovely. Sandy, yeah. very, very sandy. Yeah, and lots of nice stones in mm -hmm. one of the beaches. It was blue famous stones. for blue stones. That's oh, right. it was Leyland. Leland. Leland. That's Leland. Right. Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it? Leyland? Leyland? Sorry, Leyland? But that was the that would beach there. And they got these really nice, beautiful stones there on that beach where mm -hmm. you can go mm -hmm. looking for and them. And then coming back, everybody's back at school here, right? Yeah. So, well, not yeah. everybody in Michigan, but everybody here, yeah. I believe, is back to school. So. And it's sad, you know, I've been, I've been watching the news. Everyone's fighting over masks again. It's so, like, people getting mad for wearing a mask or not wearing a mask. and. I know. Screaming and yelling, people hitting teachers and And for <sighs> little ones especially it's, it's already like traumatic enough to go back to school. Yeah. They don't need to see everybody fighting, especially not their mom and dad. Yeah. But um yeah, we wish everyone the best who is yes. who have children going back to school. I remember those years. It's kind of happy sad, you know, you're mm -hmm. glad they have something to do every day, but on the other hand you're looking at them going out the door like really my kids are getting so big yeah. and it's a uh, kind of a wee bit of a teary know, thing I too know. and then Seen waiting them for them climb on the bus for on the, the first school time. bus and then you're like oh my god yeah. that's my kids and yeah mm -hmm. it can be sad too but we're praying for you all yeah that um this very busy time mm -hmm. the lord is with you we had a good uh, kickoff event too at the church here with uh, mm -hmm. the youth group yeah and a the bunch, of, pe group. A bunch mm -hmm. of people came out from the church and we I had some fun there playing. And Pastor Andy is in his element. What? Because we have all these sporting activities now. Uh -huh. Yes, this one here is right. just very much I into fell on sport. my face a couple of times, trust me. Yeah, but that won't me. stop you. That was embarrassing <laughs> You'll myself. You'll keep trying. You'll keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> one of the one of the teens said it was like slow motion because oh, yeah, I tripped watching. over the I tripped. <laughs> we don't even. I, I slowly went. Yeah. We don't even fall as fast as we used to. No, no, I fell. Well, we slowly. had Stephen and Avondine over too. Oh, we did. We did the yeah. chilled pill, and I'm just thinking about that now because we have our son and daughter-in-law over. Ha hardly ever see them. Mm -hmm. You know, they're over from Switzerland, and of course, what are we doing? Cycling competitions in this church parking lot. Yeah. Well done, Dad. Well done. Yeah. So see who can go across the fastest. Yeah. yeah. Competition, competition, competition. But anyway, it was fun. Thanks, guys, for coming over. Well, I, I found out I have no chance of beating my son anymore. Uh-oh. Has it finally dawned on you? Well, I've known it for a long time. But <laughs> you can still try, right? You can still try. <laughs> it's just getting older things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One day I won't be able to ride a bike, so. Oh dear. Just to bring the tone down. Yeah. <laughs> but um, actually, one of the things mm -hmm. I wanted to chat about today was um, the community, because mm -hmm. here in Fayette, we have 
say it's a pretty happening place. We've had the Bull Festival, as we talked about. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Yeah. As we talked about in our last show, Pell, and mm -hmm. there's lots going on here, believe it or not, in Fayette right now, and I'm, I'm participating in a lot of community planning and community meetings and stuff. So you and I have been chatting about the whole this whole idea of community in terms of it we as a church and how important it is to see our community the way yes. Christ wants us to see them. Right. Because a lot of times we can get into the judgment seat and feel yeah. like, well, those people aren't worth helping or I don't need to worry about those people and those people and those people and we categorize everybody. But you and I were looking at yeah, the yeah. scripture yeah, it says, in Romans, right? But yeah, Romans in Romans 12, chapter 12, verse 16, it says, live in harmony with one another. Mm -hmm. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not be conceited. That's the thing. Be willing to associate with other people. That no maybe, matter what they have or yeah. don't have, mm -hmm. you know, because you've often said this, that wherever a church is, situated physically it needs to be really relevant to that community yeah. where it is right? right yeah and reaching out and open mm -hmm. to the community of course a lot of times the community um, misunderstands the church and has ideas about it that usually aren't true mm -hmm. but um, well our, for our part we've got to try to continue to reach out to mm -hmm. them and show them that hey we, we are genuinely trying to seeking to follow the Lord mm -hmm. and we genuinely care about the community we care about people's lives and there's no there's no better thing in life than to uh, follow a God who loves you and wants to guide your life you know so many so many people um, get into situations by themselves that they really shouldn't be in and it's because perhaps they didn't get guidance from God and I mean, even in a situation like a small community like here yeah. in Fayette, there are people who've never had the opportunity truly of hearing the message of the gospel. That might sound really weird, but it's true. Yeah, go on. And they haven't been brought up to yeah. acknowledge God or to think about God or to include yeah. God in their lives. And so the church's work actually is never done. Yeah. It's never over until the Lord calls yeah. home, right? And the, that passage we read reminds us we should never say to ourselves, I'm not going over there because those people will be there. Mm -hmm. You know, I, oh, when we let ourselves off the hook and right. we say things like, I can't relate to them, yeah. or I don't understand them. Or that's not my business. Or that's or not my business, or they're not my kind of people. Well, mm -hmm. you know, you think about Jesus, everyone was his kind of people. Mm -hmm. You know, he reached out to everyone. He was able to reach out to kings. Mm -hmm. He was able to reach out to the very poorest and the very lowest the very sickest so it's like everybody matters everyone matters and so it, you know whoever matters to Jesus mm -hmm. should matter to his followers so. we just had a nice chat with Andy's mom mm -hmm. hi grandma if you ever hear these she'll tell it I'm not sure she's in England and so is your dad and uh, we just had a nice chat with her and catching up on some stuff but one of the things we talked about again was how at the end of life, you, you've often said this as your work as a chaplain in hospice and um, mm -hmm. the hospital chaplaincy and so on, that when people are dying, they only ever want to talk about two things. One is God and the other is their family. Yeah. And actually, we can spend life t our lifetime giving those two things less time than we give everything else. Right. And yet it seems consistent yeah people are dying they don't want to talk about politics they don't want to talk about money they don't want to talk about religion they don't want to talk about holidays or anything or jobs they want to talk about God mm -hmm. or their family even if they're not getting on with their family right because it's a heartbreak to them they realize you know there's a lot of people have regrets mm -hmm. at the end and you know I wish I'd spent more time with my husband mm -hmm. or my, my wife or my mom or my dad my brother my sister mm -hmm. And that's our community. That's our immediate community is our family. And then, for, so you can't step over your family, forgetting them, and try to reach out to other people. It's family, then the wider community. Yes. And all because God has called us to follow Him. Right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's good being with you again today. Yes. 
We'll see those of you around here, see you on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Got a great service lined up. It's going to be a wonderful message. So I look forward to having, and if those of you who can't be here, uh, just join us online. It'll be great to, uh, great that it's great that you'll be online joining us that day. Mm -hmm. Even though we can't see you. Well, we hope you can come. Send some messages too. Yeah, it'd be great to see if you can make it. Yeah. God bless you. Pip, pip. And? Cheerio.